NFL can just get ridiculous. From black cats making 50-yard mad dashes to players getting their backs blown out on the field. And that's only some of the 20 most ridiculous moments in NFL history. But first, we gotta talk about the craziest throw you've ever seen. How did he do that? I don't know. Bro, he's a, he's a magician running for his life. Mahomes. In the face mask and Mahomes knows that was a chance. Wait, so you're telling me that this throw that was seen in Madden wasn't even a complete pass? That's just false advertisement. You're a fake and a fraud. I mean, okay, but at least it was nothing like what Jameis Winston did, where he demotivated his entire team with the worst pregame speech in NFL history. Everybody Go. look at me. I'm gonna pass it to corner after I say one thing. Go. Let's Go. That's a W. That's E1. I mean, I don't know what a W actually tastes like, but I'm sure it's not as bad as some kid sneaking to get a taste of Tom Brady's juice. <laughs> Oh god, must have either tasted like goat milk or bro just got the Brady sun treatment. Where's the security to get this kid off the field? Might need to call in DK Metcalf. Speaker, like he owed him money. And I mean, security was probably busy somewhere else getting some puss. I'm talking about a cat, you guys. What's wrong with y'all? So we've gone from seeing ghosts to black cats now on Monday Night Football and MetLife. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this, this ought to be fun here. And oh. in this Cowboys season, doesn't go the way it was expected to. Blame that guy. I mean, look at his change of direction. He's though. got great lateral movement. Oh though. my goodness. Fortunately, no one got within five yards. They should have given that cat a contract. But still, a cat crossing the goal line isn't anywhere near as ridiculous as Bill's Mafia's beef with the tables. But there was one time where one fan was burned alive. Uh, don't worry everyone, he's okay. This would even make the Dudley boys proud. Maybe bro just needs to chill off in the stadium, where the whole place turned into Soak City. Came on to celebrate, oh his, look at that. His rookie passing record. <laughs> I said no rain in the forecast. I didn't check the sprinklers. Damn, someone must have pressed the button at Buffalo Wild Wings. That is pretty ridiculous. But have you ever heard of a coach who hired an on-field dance partner? Coaches, whether it's, you know, a position coach or even Sean McVay now, I literally have to spend most of my time while the offense is on the field standing right behind Sean and ripping him out of the way when the official's about to run into him just so we don't get a penalty. There is an art to it. It is kind of like a dance. All right, so dude definitely got a Dancing with the Stars gig, but it's nothing like the NFL mascots who get paid to destroy childhoods. Oh my god, they didn't have to do him like that. One thing's for sure, that blue horse is a total menace. Just like Rob Gronkowski, who became Steve Harvey's worst enemy. Lego Steve Harvey! What are you doing? Are you serious? During the 2020 New Year's Eve party, Gronk had to set the tone for the worst year of all time. And then dude just proceeds to dance over them brown Legos. What is wrong with you? You're mentally imbalanced. Steve just felt disgusted, just like this man here, when a whole bird gave him head. Got to run away. We've got to run. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get that guy season tickets back after this. Get him a helmet. That poor man now knows how a rat feels. I mean, that looked like it hurt. But don't worry, he'll probably feel better if he hits the like button on this video. And you should think about it too. Also, subscribe and click that notification bell, which doesn't sound like this. Man sounded like a teenager at a Drake concert. But what's even more ridiculous is aliens stopping an NFL game. During a 1979 game between the Cowboys and the Steelers, some kind of an illusion appeared in the sky. I want you to explain that to me, Dr. Well, I, Fox. I, I'm afraid to. This is sort of a Twilight Zone football game. Some say it was a UFO. Others said that it was some sort of shiny reflective kite. Whatever it was, it remains a mystery to this day. Kind of like how OBJ got away with violating another player on the field. Looking for Beckham, intercepted again by Chuck Clark. Yo, Odell, at least ask him out to dinner first. Yeah. Damn, but this next play was downright criminal. Brian, who told us last night, they'll have to be really good 
to beat us. Big Ben literally took one for the team, but there was one player who actually went number one in his pants after getting a little too excited. Hey, was excited, but maybe he's a little too excited. <laughs> At least Bro didn't have to take a dump like Lamar Jackson. I'm now being told that Lamar Jackson is back in the Ravens locker room being treated for cramps. His return is questionable. The backup, Trace McSorley, was over here warming up. He is now in the game. He was gone for a good 13 minutes of the game, just so he could throw a lob pass into the toilet. And when he came back from dropping that deuce, on the very first play, Lamar drops a dime. Throw for it, and he's got it! Hands on to the football and scores! Now, in an interview, everybody had questions, so Lamar had to play it off. I was cramping. I ain't putting Paul Pierce. Yeah, stomach cramps, ass cramps, whatever it was, Lamar had a clear head to win the game. But what about the snowball that caused a missed field goal? Well, I don't believe that was a fake. And I don't know what you do about a snowball hitting your holder just as he tries to place the ball down. Now that's how you ice a kicker. And the ref got flattened on the previous play too. So all kinds of wickedness was going down. Montana, the right the end zone. But how about Browns fans nearly causing a riot when they threw beer bottles, trash cans, and anything that wasn't pinned down onto the field after one call that pissed everyone off? It was week 14, 2001, and the Browns were trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. Unfortunately, a late review overturning a fourth and second conversion with one minute to go cost the Browns the game and their season. The pass is incomplete. The end result was pure anarchy. Things got got so bad that officials even had to end the game with 48 seconds left on the clock before the league office called in and demanded they restart it. Damn, what a mess. Refs didn't really think this one through, huh? Just like how one overlooked playoff overtime rule caused the 49ers to lose the Super Bowl. It's a tie game against the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. What came next was the coin toss to start off overtime. Niners made the call, but then... What is your call? Tails again. He called Tails again. Tails, you want the ball? Which way do you want to kick? I'm gonna kick that way. They want it. Hey, even if we score a touchdown, they still get the ball. I didn't know that. Wait, you didn't know that? Holy sh! So, with the new overtime rule, even if the 49ers score on their first drive, the Chiefs can now use that to their advantage as they know exactly what they'd have to do to win when they get the ball next. And when they did get the ball, they drove it right down the field. Go up top. Mahomes cradles it and goes! All the way to the end zone. Mahomes throws it to Kelsey in the middle of the field. First down! First down! One more play. We'll finish it. And won the Super Bowl. First and goal. <laughs> Jackpot, Kansas City! But what made this even more ridiculous was that when McCole Hardman caught the game-winning catch, he blacked out. Or at least that's what he claimed. Gordon, the Super Bowl winning touchdown, man. Yeah. What does that feel like? Man, it feels great. I'm telling you, I blacked out when I caught the ball, though. You said you blacked out. That's what <laughs> happened. And I want to know what that means exactly. Here you are, celebrating. Now I came back to life right there. At this point, you know you just won the Super Bowl here? Um, because Mahomes said he informed you of this. Well, the story is behind this is I knew everything that happened up until I turned around and held the ball. So I knew I caught the ball. And I caught the football literally after I caught it, don't remember nothing else. Dude caught the pass, blacked out, and came back to life as a Super Bowl champ. Now that's pretty ridiculous. But there are catches. <laughs> is even more ridiculous than this one. Like the time when a man caught it with his glizzy while doing a front flip. And that's just one of the 20 wildest catches in NFL history, which you'll find in this video right here. So go ahead and click on the video. I'll see you there in a few seconds.